Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, folks. This is the Zulu here, Steve. Um, I just thought I'd make this video. Um, basically, I was watching Metal Mickey's. I think it was his last but one release. And uh, he had some great luck at HMV. Um, HMV is in the news a lot here at the moment. Um, the reason why I'm mentioning its name, I thought I'd do it this once, uh, is they've just opened a superstore up in Birmingham. And it's the biggest record store in Europe and uh, it's huge. And I haven't been yet, but I'm thinking of going in the next couple of weeks, see what it's like. Um, but the problem is, when I was speaking to Metal Mickey about it, it looks like it's going to be for new releases. Whether they do some vintage stuff, I don't know. But uh, also, the word on the street is I wonder how long it will keep open for. Um, but uh, it was on the news, I think it was last Wednesday or Thursday it opened. And uh, Metal Mickey went into his local HMV branch and he scored big time with a Hello Halloween um, record. He got a lo load of Blu-rays and uh, CDs and stuff in his beautiful box for fourteen ninety nine. Now our local Telford Town Centre is about four mile up the road from me that way. But I don't go there a lot. Um, I tend to go to Wellington, which is about six miles that way. Because um, they they have where I go to watch me soccer. And my favourite um, bacon joints there, Swell Greg. Um, so, uh, you know, get a nice bacon sarnie. Uh, I only go up to Telford Town Centre. Plus for the fact, I don't like going near HMV. Because I go in and I always come out with something and uh, so i haven't basically been there for like the last seven or eight months i've been keeping a wide berth of the thing if you know what i mean so anyway i saw metal mickey's video and i thought to myself maybe a bit of his luck would rub off for me um so uh, i walked in there yesterday and i couldn't find the halloween record uh then i got looking then i walked out with absolutely nothing uh not a single cd now I've got three instead. Mick, I'm going to kill you, man. I really am. <laughs> so basically, I only went there for a few minutes. I come out with three CDs. And uh, so here's the first one, which I ain't going to talk about too much. It's the new Kill album. Now, what I'm going to talk about is, if you can see it, we know what it's called. It's called The Wings of War. Uh, it's going to be a killer album, because Overkill don't make really bad albums. Um, but the reason why I got this one, because it was only 10 quid, I've got the new Hammerfall album coming as well, which is again 10 quid. Um, you know, the pricing was good, because when they come out, they're too expensive for me. Um, so, you know, I, I picked this one up, uh, you can, 8 quid, sorry, oh, I've got 8.99, you can see the price on the back. I paid 8.99 for it, I hope it's up the right direction. So, um, I was really chuffed to bits to get that, and... Um, so I carried on looking, and because uh, I was in the O section, I was in the H, I went to look for this Halloween, uh, which is one of my favourite bands of all time. Now, when it comes to Halloween, I discovered them in 1985, because they were formed in 84 in Hamburg, in Germany. I discovered them around the Keeper of the Keys era, and I could actually prove that, because I've got an album in the bedroom, in that collection, and I bought that album when it came out, and that's got to be about 86. But I've been a Halloween fan since the beginning. I think they're awesome, power, if you like the power metal. Um, they were a bit like Except, you had Except first, then you had ha Halloween, and they were like the forefathers of uh, power metal, if you like. They're just that good, they're amazing. And um, basically, then I got this record and it was accumulating to something now this record confused me uh, which is not a difficult thing to do you might have gathered um this is the halloween and it's uh, the ride the sky the very best of uh i got a bit confused the simple reason is there was a halloween side project or a band called ride the sky and i thought it may be that yeah, the, the uh, drummer, Uli Kush, or I, ha I hope I pronounced that right, he went off with two members of Tears for Anger, and I ain't going to try and uh, pronounce their names, and they formed a band called Ride the Sky, which didn't last very long. Um, so I thought it may be a smattering, and it might, it might still be, 
but I've done a bit of research on it this morning and basically it's the noise years of Halloween and uh, it's when they were the noise record company and uh, it's just got some um, killer tracks on it and it was dead cheap and uh, it's brand new as well now I nearly purchased this when I was in Reading uh, it was a fiver so I didn't but I bought a new one yesterday it's brand spanking new for five quid I'm not, I'm not knocking it but it's just an amazing amazing uh, record and uh, it's got a nice cover on it shows you all the albums you're getting tracks off at the front you've got Keeper of the, the Keys and their first album I think and the uh, Swing of the Rings Master of the Rings I think it's called and all that stuff and you, it's the, like the greatest all the records they did with noise and it's like the greatest of uh, yeah noise probably put this out to make some more cash as they do so anyway what's this all leading up to uh, which is this one I purchased this is the brand spanking new uh, Halloween uh, United Alive and this one was recorded in Madrid and if you don't know it features all three lead singers a couple of them duet I think Kai Anson's on here as well um, he does a cracking version of Keeper of the Keys but I may be wrong and uh, for twelve ninety nine, it's a bargain for a free D uh, CD box I was comparing it to other three CD boxes they're around the twenty four ninety nine mark but this record is definitely going down as one of the best of 2019 um, you can't beat Halloween live and you got all that three CDs that's the actual show which you're getting all, the whole lot plus they did some extra tracks you're getting all that but it's just go, it's absolutely amazing I'll pull the booklet out and when I opened this last night I got a lovely smell of newness you know it's like a whiff uh, and the quality is just outstanding um, it's got some lovely pictures of the band uh, oops what's that? Oh, I see a nice little booklet with it and uh, oops sorry and nice pretty pictures and I shan't like Mick or Mickey say spoil it for you but uh, you're getting all, all the uh, singers like and I can't pronounce that Andy uh, the other guy Michael Kishk um, the guitarist Michael I can't pronounce his surname but you know I'm gives with W Kai Hansen look he, he's just amazing that guy is he's done a lot of stuff and pumpkins united that was what it was called and it's just a killer killer um record marcus can't pronounce this in the game but call him marcus and that's what you're getting um anything kai hansen's touch is honestly say it's turned to go it's turned to gold and uh, the guitarist again i can't saskia i can't pronounce his name it, it, give us a break folks it's only half eight in the morning um you can probably hear the dust cart going outside you got Danny on drums look yeah it's just a quality box set I can't wait to start pl uh, playing it um, but I'm going to wait another half an hour because I don't want to wake up the neighbours so anyway folks hope you've enjoyed this show and uh, if you've got any comments leave them below and if I've made any mistakes excuse me but it's quite early in the morning here and I haven't had me three cups of coffee yet I'm only on me first and uh, stay love each other cheers bye